Now, in this video, I am going to talk about what are different types of monitors and which one is better for your UI design work or graphic design work or videography or if you are a vlogger or something like that, which type of monitor you should buy. Let's first discuss the different types of monitor panels. So there are actually two different types of monitors, major kinds with one is TN panel and another is IPS or PLS, which was developed by Samsung panels. So uh, TN panels, they, have, they are lower in cost, they are easier to develop and uh, they are mostly called old LCD panels and they are still developed for uh, a, a lot of uh, reasons because they are cost effective. They have less cost to develop. So the other side is IPS or PLS panels in plane switching technique or plane to line switching. So these are uh, two different plane to line switching. PLS was developed by Samsung. It is very similar to IPS. So uh, these are two different types of panels. Whenever you are looking for a monitor, try to search for what is its panel type, whether it's TN panel or IPS panel. Now for designers, I will always recommend and you should always buy an IPS monitor because of two reasons. The first reason is accurate color space. So if you are a designer, you might know uh, and you might have used color profiles like sRGB, which is standard for uh, designing your color schemes or colors, your apps when you are extracting images. When you are designing, you normally use sRGB color profile. The IPS uh, screens or IPS monitors or PLS monitors, they have more accurate color space. They represent colors more accurately. Uh, so uh, also the other thing is their viewing angle. So if you view from left or right or you move down or up, the colors will stay the same. So they have like viewing angle of 170 to 178 degrees, which is uh, pretty awesome. So whenever you are buying a monitor, try to look for whether its panel type is IPS, PLS or TN panel. Now why TN panels are still developed because it is best for gamers. They are very responsive. They have very uh, fast response time. So when you are playing a video game, uh, you are going to, you know, uh, kill in milliseconds. You are going to press your uh, fire and that is going to help a lot. So if you are playing on a very slow monitor, other, other players are going to win. Okay, so this is... Basically, TN panel is for gamers. They don't need to care about what colors are there. So they, they don't need to, you know, look for that the orange is looking the pure orange or not. But for a designer, this is very important. Now, this is enough talk. Let's go and see some monitors on Amazon.com. So I'm going to show you different types of monitors and which one you should buy. So the first IPS monitor I'm going to share with you is the one I'm using HP 23.8 inch FHD monitor. Don't worry or don't get confused with these terms FHD, Ultra HD, UHD or things like that. Try to look for the what is the panel type over here. So if you look at the description over here in the first line, it says IPS technology. Also it says ultra wide 178 degree angle with consistent details and vibrant colors. So this is what you are going to look for. Okay. So we are not going to look for the very fast response time. We are looking for IPS technology panel and viewing angle, wide viewing angle where our colors are not going to deviate if we look uh, around, okay? So this is one I'm using. Don't try to go with 27 inches because for a full HD 1080p, if you are 1920 by 1080p, if you, uh, if you are using that screen, don't go over 25 inches. Uh, I have bought 32 inch, which was uh, 1080s, 1080p or a full HD screen and it was very pixelated so because um, the screen width is too much and uh, we have less pixels over there. Now the second monitor which I really love is Dell Ultra Sharp series. We have 24 inches, 27 inches, there are actually two different sizes. So um, I really like this 24 inch because I think that in 1920 by 1080 which is called full HD or FHD it is uh, the best size. So don't go over 24 inches. It is going to look odd for you. It is an IPS screen. And the cool thing about it, which I really love is height adjustment. So if you are a designer, you are designing for 10 hours, 12 hours, even four hours, I have my neck and upper shoulder problems. So I will always go with um, a stand or monitor that has tilting function. 
screen tilt or height adjustment this is going to help you a lot in your health and long term so you can see over here here we have tilting function and also the height adjustable i really wish i can uh, if i'm going to buy my next screen i think it will be this one then we have few from asus this is also an ips it is 173 dollars so these are all in the range of from 130 dollars to like 250 dollars so this is actually their range so you can see it is also ips led 178 degree angle 25 inches this is another one which you can buy for your graphic design or design work let's see few more okay so here uh, i have another one which is 149 pounds i think it is from uh, in the uk uk site of amazon and uh, the cool thing about it is it is height and tilt adjust stand so it comes with height and tilt adjust stand so if you get something like this one you can buy this one another thing i would like to show you is if you are going to go with the uh, uh, more resolution like 2k or 4k uh, you are going to uh, you know move to the 27 inch uh, you can say size so never try to buy 4k in 24 inches try to buy it in 27 28 inches uh, i don't recommend 32 inches or 38 inches wide monitors uh, i really don't um, think that they are ergonomic you need to move your neck a lot uh, around so uh, your monitor should be the size of uh, which you can easily you know view you can uh, easily rotate your neck you should you don't need to you know rotate or move your neck or eyes a lot so this is i think what you should be looking for and uh, screen or monitor now let's talk about some high-end monitors which are 4K and they are also IPS. So never try to buy a 4K monitor that is not an IPS monitor. There are a lot of monitors that are not IPS and they are 27 inches, 28, 32. You might get confused and you might buy one of them. Don't try to buy one of them. So this is another one from Dell. I really love Dell because they have these height adjustable stands you can see over here and also tilt adjustable stands so this is 27 inch i think this is perfect for any kind of graphic design work uh, video um, editing or something like that so you need very accurate colors in video editing or something like that so if you feel like spending 400 or 500 dollars i think you should buy something like this one so when i talk about uh, the pricey range of 4k uh, IPS displays there is one thing you need to look for is sRGB over 99% so their standard of S showing sRGB color accuracy is 99% which is I think the best thing you should look for in any designer's uh, monitor so if you are a designer you should look for something like this sRGB over 99% this is a great monitor so when you are buying a monitor you might get trapped into something like this 28 inch ultra hd 4k monitor okay so this is looking great i should buy this one so before buying this one when i move down you can see over here if i go to the specifications uh, let me go down here we have show all specs and when i see the specs you can see panel type is t and panel so this is for gamers this is for not this is not for designers don't try to get confused with this one this is a tn panel type it will have some uh, problems displaying colors although it shows that viewing angle is 170 160 degree but i'm not going to buy this one for my design work so if you want to buy it for your home um, maybe for other kind of work it might be good but not for designing now the second technology i discussed was pls it is uh, you can see this is 24 inch flat monitor by samsung pls 24 inches 27 inches i would always go for 24 because 27 will look uh, different a bit odd on 1080p so this is the monitor if you want to buy this one this is another option it might have a little bit tilt but it doesn't have height adjustment so here is my whole guide on buying monitors all the links to buy these monitors is in the description so if you want to buy any of them try to use the links below in the description of this video i hope you have enjoyed this video and this will help you by making your buying decision for your monitors next time see you soon in another video take care and bye